everyone it's good we can be here this morning and have this opportunity to look into god's word see what his will might be for us in this lifetime as we try to make some practical application out of the scripture today a uh, simple topical lesson that i have put together this morning baptism uh, we'll look at a handful of verses here Think about baptism and the instructions that are given to us and the purpose and meaning for that. We're going to start with Matthew chapter 3. chapter 3 we're going to look at verses 13 through 16 the heading in my new King James John baptizes Jesus then Jesus came from Galilee to John at the Jordan to be baptized by him and John tried to prevent him saying I need to be baptized by you and you are coming to me but Jesus answered and said to him, Permit it to be so now, for thus it is fitting for us to fulfill all righteousness. Then he allowed him. When he had been baptized, Jesus came up immediately from the water, and behold, the heavens were open to him. And he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove and alighting upon him. And suddenly a voice came from heaven saying, This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. So we can see here in these few verses an example that Jesus was giving us in being baptized. It wasn't so much that he needed to be baptized. Jesus was, not in the sense that we need to be baptized, Jesus was sinless. He was God, perfect sacrifice. Uh, there was no, no sin in him, so it wasn't that he needed to have sin washed away in that sense. But Jesus said it was fitting for that to happen to fulfill all righteousness. Um, for me, a big part of that is the example. As we think about being baptized, we can think about the example of Jesus himself. I want to look at Matthew 28 next. Matthew 28, verses 16 through 19. So this is commonly known as the Great Commission. Then the eleven disciples went away into Galilee, to the mountain which Jesus had pointed, appointed for them. When they saw him, they worshipped him, but some doubted. And Jesus came and spoke to them, saying, All authority has been given to me in heaven and on earth. Go, therefore, and make disciples of all the nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all the things that I have commanded you. And, lo, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. So, in the first reading, we had the example of Jesus being baptized. In this reading, we have the command from Jesus to go and to baptize and to baptize in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. And that's something that we still do. It's a very simple command that we can follow. A direct command from Jesus there. I want to look at the Gospel of John, chapter 3. John, chapter 3. I'm going to read verses 1 through 8. The new birth is the heading in my new King James. There was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. This man came to Jesus by night and said to him, Rabbi, we know that you are a teacher come from God, for no one can do these signs that you do unless God is with him. Jesus answered and said to him, Most assuredly, I say to you, unless one is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Nicodemus said to him, How can a man be born when he is old? Can he enter a second time into his mother's womb and be born? 
Jesus answered, most assuredly, I say to you, unless one is born of water and the spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. That which is born of the flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the spirit is spirit. Do not marvel that I said to you, you must be born again. The wind blows where it wishes, and you hear the sound of it, but cannot tell where it comes from and where it goes. So is everyone who is born of the Spirit. Uh, very simply, Jesus says you have to be born of the water and the Spirit, uh, the water of baptism, I believe, being alluded to there. I want to look at one more reading in Acts chapter 2. <clears throat> And we'll begin with verse 36. Therefore, let all the house of Israel know assuredly that God has made this Jesus, whom you crucified, both Lord and Christ. Now when they heard this, they were cut to the heart and said to Peter and the rest of the apostles, men and brethren, what shall we do? Then Peter said to them, repent. And let every one of you be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins, and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. For the promise is to you and to your children and to all who are afar off, as many as the Lord our God will call. So a very simple command that was given to all of those new believers, uh, soon to be new believers at that time those who were realizing that they were sinful, uh, that they needed to repent. There was the call to very simply repent and be baptized. Of course, there are many more scriptures that point us in the direction of baptism, and you can study those at another time to, to further your understanding of that. Um, other simple ways to put it, uh, for me, it's a simple signing of a contract. We don't sign a, a letter that says, you know, we dedicate ourselves to Christ or confess. We don't sign and register that with a court or, you know, a lawyer like a will or anything like that. Uh, the only indication of, that we have of an action to uh, confirm that is to confess, to repent, to confess the name of Jesus and to be baptized in him, come out of the water, a new, a new being. Um, the baptism, in a sense, was representing a burial and a resurrection, as it's stated in other scripture. And we rise anew from that water, and we are added to that book of life. Um, scripture says we can't be, our name won't be blotted out uh, as long as we continue to abide in the teaching and love him by following his instruction and his word. That's the summation of what I have this morning. Uh, if anyone were subject to the call for baptism, we have water ready here. Uh, as we are also gathered as a church, we have the opportunity to bear one another's burdens and to edify one another in that way. Uh, if there's anyone who has any of those needs, you can make it known as we stand and sing number 535.